we're standing right here in front of a wall of pictures, right, showing small purple wrinkly things, aka newborns, and I'm a bit freaked out. Neither Roz nor I has ever given birth. Good to know. Honest. <laughs> really? So today we're here for some education. We're going to meet a birth coach. Her name is Ginny. So what is a birth coach, Ginny? What do you do? A birth coach is a professional birth labour supporter. So what we actually do is we prepare the expectant parents to get the kind of birth that they want. So when we say that, we provide informational, emotional, physical help. So we walk them through the whole process as to how to get there. So all these alternative birthing methods, like by water, and everything, it sounds very fashionable to me. I mean, is the ultimate goal to get lesser pain or you also teach this birthing method called hypnobirthing? Definitely lesser pain and a shorter labour time. I have a lot of my clients who would say, it wasn't painful at all. It was intense. So it was easy. Vagina. What kind of vagina do they have? <laughs> Made of steel or what? It's the whole process. It's a mind-body process. If you okay. deem something as painful, it's going to be really painful. Okay. No, but see, right, if you have the C-section, you keep your vagina intact for sex. Mm -hmm. No? Like, because I have this like strange impression that you know when you give birth, it will become this to this. No. And then you lose your man. <laughs> Fortunately or unfortunately, it doesn't go to your imagination. <laughs> or it just stays in your imagination, it doesn't go elsewhere, okay? Question, what do you think is the guy's role in the delivery room? He has to be there, okay? So this is the part where you may not like, all right? Now, when a woman is giving birth, she needs to be completely vulnerable. Everything is open, all right? When I say everything, it means her mouth is open because she might be burping or even vomiting. Her cervix is open. Her vulva is open, her anus is open. <laughs> Everything opens, alright? In order to be in that state, she needs to be completely, she needs to feel completely safe and vulnerable. In order for her to feel completely safe and vulnerable, one of the things is to know that her man is going to be the rock and going to take care of everything Not else. <laughs> Not if the anus is open. <laughs> I'll be out the door. <laughs> you can like show me the video later. Only towards the end, and then you'll see the head, and then you'll forget about the anus. <laughs> okay. That's why they need to clear it before they give birth, and not they'll be shit. <laughs> yeah. Why do we watch a birth video for you to experience what it's like? I'm not sure about this though. I just watched an elephant giving birth on YouTube. Is it going to be something like that? No, it's so very traumatized. Nicer. By it. It's issue. much nicer. Okay. Did you search for elephant birth on YouTube? Well, no. A friend sent a link. It's like, oh, you have to watch this. The most beautiful thing ever. And I was like, really? Then I saw it's like the most grossest, like, <laughs> goriest thing ever. I cannot see the beauty in that elephant birth. <laughs> it was just. It's still disturbing me now, God. Yeah, I'm also a bit worried. I was hoping to go my entire life without watching the scene. <laughs> and now you're going to show it to me? Yeah, it's, it's a really nice experience, especially when it comes to your turn. If you have the opportunity to even catch your own baby, oh, you're going to be so proud. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. To watch that area <laughs> do something which I have never seen it do before, I don't know how I'd go back there. <laughs> You know, to the nice a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be surprised. That's why people have kids, not one child, you know, kids. Okay, let's play. The head has to rotate as it's coming through. Oh, what a cute kid. He's covered in slime. Why is he cute? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks all right. So what do you think? Actually, it's not as gory as I thought it would be. Um, hardly any blood, no cutting. Mm -hmm. Why is there no cutting? You want to be able to stretch naturally. Right. Because a cut takes longer to heal. You cut it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Are you serious? Yeah, that's what I saw before. Like you, you make it like an, it's either you cut it or you let it tear naturally. But research has shown that tearing naturally is a lot better. But you might split into your ass. Chances of that happening is very low. It looked quite chill actually. Where's all the screaming and the high drama? Like I said, you're supposed to be relaxed. That's how it's supposed to be. Something calm, something beautiful, something very peaceful. And not your drama mama kind of birth. So you actually conduct classes right for your clients and stuff. What actually happens, you know, in these classes? Okay, so now we're going to give this a shot. So you're going to be the wife in labour and then you are going to guide her through a state of hypnosis to help her to relax. I do not like this. Okay, okay. Look at your face. Okay, honey. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, future mother of my child. <laughs> Stop it! When you feel the time is right, close your eyes. Close your eyes and sleep and relax and go to a happy place. I cannot do this. Keep going. Get back, woman. <laughs> All right. And just imagine the child inside you. My son, a handsome devil and smart as well. I need to put my face in a pillow, suffocate me. <laughs> You're not doing it. I was a kid gonna have a normal birth, but you can't even relax. I can't do this. Give me like epidural right now. <laughs> like drug me up, like fix me up on tubes and stuff. Actually, Roz Cut me open and just get this over and done with. Roz doesn't need any trouble. I think when it comes to it, she wouldn't have any pain. Her hips are so wide. She's gonna be walking down Orchard Road and it's gonna drop out. <laughs> now we're going to role play a few different labor positions for you to give it a go. Okay. okay. And I'll explain to you as we go along why that can be comfortable. So you wanna hold him. Come on. And put your whole weight onto him. You wanna rest your head onto his shoulders. Come on. With this arm around him. <laughs> Cannot. Can. I don't agree with your body smell. <laughs> <laughs> what? I sprayed earlier. <laughs> okay. Just lean, just relax. So you gotta trust the man, okay? You gotta just lean and relax. And then what he's gonna do is he's just going to massage your back. No! Stop it! Okay, now! Yeah, baby. Okay. <laughs> this is just wrong. She's worried about getting too turned on, oh, I understand. Please! You have the position where they actually sit on him. So he becomes like a toilet seat. Okay, because oh. during labor they like to sit on the toilet seat, but at a certain point we kind of like got to get her off the toilet bowl. So then I make the husband's the toilet seat. So like a squatting position would be something like that. And then the woman's just going to hold this onto is fine. him. This is fine. Yeah, and squat this way and give birth. Okay. So this is a great position for giving birth. He's got to like change roles, like to the bitch. Sean, do you want to do a role reversal? Mm, okay. So you go on all fours, you put your head at one side of her waist. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Like this. <laughs> oh yeah! Like that. <laughs> and then what she's going to do is that she's going to massage your back. Uh -huh. Nice doggy. I like that. You have your gigantic thighs, Ross, by I the way. I know. <laughs> I can still smell you, Shen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go away. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so, yeah, something like that. Well, thank you, Ginny, for new levels of awkwardness on the Shannon Rose show. <laughs> and I, Maybe the right one. I conclude that, yeah, he's not the right one. <laughs> so, don't let this put you off, though. I think I would definitely try natural birth when I do get pregnant. Good. God knows when. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that guy comes along. <laughs> guy is willing to put up with you. Well, thank you very much, Ginny. It's been educational and slightly frightening. Pleasure. Look for more episodes on clicknetwork.tv. Or you can catch us on radio 4 to 8 p.m. on 987 FM Monday to Friday.